Okay, so now we're going to do a pot with a lid thrown attached to it so that you don't actually have to do any measuring with the calipers. So as you can see from the bottom illustration, this is all one piece and you'll cut this so that you'll end up with a flange either on your container or on your lid. So the only thing you need, um, you can use the back of a needle tool. You can also use uh, a popsicle stick. I've got a little skewer that I like to use. And I've already thrown a cylinder and all I'm gonna do is put some shape to it. And we're going to make this into an enclosed form by collaring. So I don't want water to sit in the bottom because this is gonna be an enclosed form. So I'm gonna remove anything that's down there. And I'm just gonna start to push out a little bit to shape my pot. And remember whenever you're shaping, push from the bottom and work your way up. Okay, when you're creating this sort of container, you do need to have a, a flat portion of it or a straight side because that is where you will end up um, cutting your rim. So now we're gonna do some collaring. One last time, I'm gonna go in there, take water out. If you have a sponge on a stick, you can use that. I'm gonna put water on the outside and I'm gonna start collaring. I need to close this in. So I'm just gonna gently squeeze and move up as I go and repeat that step. I'm squeezing in and making sure that my hands are moving up. And for about every two or three collarings I do, I like to go back and do a light little pull just to straighten up the clay particles and to make sure I don't get that crunchy wrinkle that happens if you compress too many times in a row. Okay. I'm going to go back to collaring now. You can see it almost looks like a bottle here. I'm gonna go back again, do that collaring to thin that out slightly. And then squeeze together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And this is gonna close up. Okay, so that's got that closed portion. Um, it may not be closed super airtight, so go back and compress this again. There we go. Now that feels like it's sealed. Get my wheel going just a little bit faster. Now that I've got some air trapped in there, I can kind of play with the shape a little bit. So I'm going to make a knob, continue to compress that in. It's just like this is a little piece of, um, like a tiny little centered piece of clay for you to play with with that knob. Okay. That's a good shape. And then you can take your metal rib and help to compress the form just by pushing in. It's also helping to clean it up. Okay, now as I mentioned, you kind of want to have an area that has a straight side. You know, something that's um, going vertical. You can't have um, a curve where it's cut either um, above or below the halfway mark. If you had a perfect sphere, you could cut it in the middle, but you couldn't cut above. Uh, the lid and the pot won't line up correctly. So let me just clean this up a tiny bit. All right, 
Now I'm going to take the end of my popsicle stick skewer piece and I'm just going to start to gently press in. So I'm pushing in. Notice that I'm not holding the tool perpendicular. Okay, so I'm not holding it like this. That would capture clay on the back side of the tool. It would dig it away. I'm pressing in like this so that um, the tool is dragging on the surface and compressing it in. And now what you want to think about is the width of your walls. So my walls are generally speaking about a quarter of an inch thick. So I pushed in about a quarter of an inch. And now I um, can go back and just clean this up slightly. Where those two meet. And all I'm gonna do is let this start to stiffen up slightly and then I'm gonna put a needle hole in. When my piece is leather hard, then I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm gonna hold it down at the bottom and I'll just press in until it cuts through. And then I will have a lid with a flange on it and a container. I might have to do a little trimming to make them uh, fit together after it's been cut off. But that's it. There, I've got my container and my lid all thrown in one piece. No need for calipers.